So you want to improve your mental performance and brain function, but you don't know how to do that? Well, let me share with you my top five strategies. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm an online entrepreneur creating content that will help you upgrade your mind and brain performance. If those topics interest you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Today, we're gonna talk about how you can boost your brain performance. Now, if you Google around, you're gonna find lots of different strategies from really basic and inefficient ones to super extreme ones that, well, maybe are not the best for you. Um, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you my top five scientifically proven strategies that are definitely gonna help you improve your brain performance, your mental function, and make your brain firing up. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you a couple of really great hacks if you're right now feeling mentally exhausted. So if you're ready, let's just begin. Now, the first strategy is to keep your blood sugar stable throughout the day. Obviously, you know that your brain runs on glucose. Uh, this is the primary source. And when we get glucose, the brain works on the highest level possible for the longest period of time. However, if the levels of blood glucose are too high, that's not optimal and can potentially lead to dementia and other cognitive problems. If it's too low, on the other hand, uh, this can cause dizziness, uh, irritability, nervousness, and those kind of symptoms. And you don't want that to happen either. So my best advice to you is the following. You can either fast in the morning, you can follow the 16-8 fasting period or fasting system. That's one way, so you basically skip breakfast um, and then you eat your first meal um, you know, for lunch, for example. But even better, based on science, is to eat a big breakfast that is high in vegetables, high in complex carbohydrates, not simple complex carbohydrates. Uh, there's some fats, some healthy fats like MCT, like coconut oil, uh, that kind of uh, food, and then a little bit of protein. And if you do that, you'll get the, all the crucial nutrients you need for optimal brain performance. So both things work, but try to keep your blood sugar stable. That's very important. Now, the next strategy that I have for you is to set some kind of a morning routine. Now, this is super important. I know we talked about morning routines before, but uh, please listen to me. If you have some kind of a morning routine, what's gonna happen is that you'll have so much more brain power available for working on advanced, on really hard tasks, instead of thinking of, oh, what should I do today? Um, what's the next thing I have to do? How I'm gonna do things and so on. So for example, among other things, what I do every single morning is I meditate. Many studies have shown that meditation can improve your cognitive function, uh, your focus, your memory, and can also make you super relaxed. And that is exactly what you want to happen in the morning. You wanna have brain power, but you don't wanna be too stressed. Then, for example, taking a cold shower in the morning. I know it's not super comfortable. I, I've been there, done that. Yeah, I know how it is. But if you do that, what's gonna happen is you will activate your sympathetic nervous system. And this will increase the blood levels of beta endorphins and noradrenaline, and they're responsible for well-being and being in a good mood and feeling well. And if you do this in the morning, well, what's gonna happen? You'll be in a good mood, you'll be relaxed, you'll have cognitive power, and then you can, you know, smash tasks, you know? It's really, really powerful. And then the last thing is, you need to write down what you're gonna work on every single morning, like two to three tasks, maybe just one task, um, so that your brain is kind of a, uh, focus on this one task and not thinking about so many other things that you could you know, think of. And if you do this every single day, if you follow this routine for a while, um, your brain will do all those things automatically. You won't have to think about meditation. You won't have to think about other things. And that's how you're gonna save brain power for the important things. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell down there. Now, exercise is my next strategy, obviously all kinds of exercises can help you uh, improve your brain performance. But some studies show that the most effective type of exercise for brain function is high intensity interval training. Now, if you do a short 10 to 20 minute uh, high intensity interval training uh, in the morning, of course, um, this is what's gonna give you basically lots of brain energy and brain power for the day ahead of you. However, if this training is a bit too long, you're gonna be physically and also mentally too exhausted. So you have to be careful about that. Now, in addition to that, if you can do this training outside, if you can go out, um, if it's a sunny weather, um, so what's gonna happen is you're gonna get some vitamin D3 as well from the sun, obviously, and then your skin synthesizes it. 
And if you combine those two things together, well, what's gonna happen is you wake up, you do your morning routine, you go out, you work out a little bit, 10 to 20 minutes, it's not too long. You get vitamin D3, which is among other things responsible for um, energy and well-being and also your immune system. And you know, it's perfect. You're gonna feel so good. And that's my next strategy that I would definitely recommend doing. By the way, guys, I just remember, if you wanna see my 30-day meditation experiment, there's a link up there, check it out. Now, the fourth strategy are brain boosters. Now, there are two brain boosters that I really, really love and I recommend. One is Jerba Mate tea. This is a specialty from the South America that can dramatically boost your energy levels much more than, uh, for example, green tea or black tea or other kinds of um, strong teas. And Jerba is so effective in doing that. It's really powerful. And at the same time, it makes you super focused, but super relaxed. And if you want to know more about Jerba there's a link up there. Um, check it out because it's a really powerful tea that is not as delicious as it may sound, uh, but it's definitely drinkable and it works really well. Now, the alternative to Jerba Mate tea is Bulletproof Coffee. Uh, we talked about that before in this video. Um, now, the thing about Bulletproof Coffee is you can do it in a vegan way. Um, so without, you just add the MCT oil, you mix it with Bulletproof Coffee or some kind of a coffee, uh, or you add some butter uh, to it as well. And the cool thing about Bulletproof Coffee is that it's gonna boost your energy, but unlike standardized coffee, um, you're not gonna get this typical crash after about an hour or so, but this energy will last for a couple of hours, two, three, even up to four hours. So those two boosters, you can combine them or you can add them into your daily routine, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, if you want to, for example, Bulletproof Coffee in the morning, Jeromati in the afternoon, and you're gonna get this additional energy push um, that your brain may need. By the way, guys, if you wanna see how well is your brain performing, there's a special quiz I created for you. Check it out below. It only takes about two minutes to fill it up, and I'm sure you're gonna be surprised by the results. So check it out, link is below. And last but not least, supplements, brain supplements. So the best brain supplements or the top four that I would recommend taking on a daily basis are omega-3, uh, you can go for one to two grams per day. Then you can take Bacopa Munari, great for memory improvement. Um, there is, of course, Rhodiola Rosea, which is awesome for uh, mitigating stress, which is you know, what you need, your brain needs for optimal performance. And last but not least, there is Cognizin or Cetylcholine or Alpha GPC, some kind of a choline a compound um, that is awesome for memory and brain function. Now, I made another video just on brain supplement, on the best and most effective brain supplements, when to take them, how to take them, why you should take them. And if you're interested, there's a video up here, check it out. Um, and I'm sure you're gonna learn all about brain supplements, everything that you need. Now, in the beginning of this video, I promised to share with you a couple of hacks that will help you if you're right now mentally exhausted, if you have brain fog. So here's what you can do. You can take a short power nap, 10 to 20 minutes, or even better, you can take a caffeine power nap if you drink coffee. Um, now, what this is, there's a video up there, obviously, check it out, um, and I'm sure you're gonna love it. You can take a cold shower as well. This will um, you know, pump your blood in your system and basically uh, light you up like a Christmas tree, and I'm sure you're gonna love that. It doesn't feel good, though. You know, it's, um, it's kind of a hard to take a cold shower, so. Yeah, keep that in mind. Then you can do a short breathing exercise. You can go on a short walk. Um, that's like it's super simple um, to do and it only takes a couple of minutes. And last but not least, what you can do is you can drink a big glass of water because listen to that. In most cases, when you are mentally exhausted, actually the reason for that is, is that you're dehydrated. So you didn't drink enough of water during the day. So try it out, all those five things. And if you still feel mentally exhausted, then send me a comment or write me a comment, send me an email, whatever, and I'm gonna help you find uh, what's going on. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Follow your inception and hope to see you soon again. Take care.